As a business owner who moves around a lot, has many different experiences, but you're also your own boss, have you ever thought about failure in any way? Has there ever been a moment where you've kind of been, you know, scared or unsure of the position you were in? Uh, so it may sound a little bit cheesy what I'm going to say, <laughs> but uh, to be honest, I'm not afraid uh, to fail. Uh, I think uh, fear of failure is also a hidden fear of success in some ways. So I'm always happy to take risks. Otherwise, I know that uh, I won't gain anything, basically. Um, so yeah, I'm not really afraid of, um, and I don't think a lot about failure, to be honest. Uh, you know, when I left my country 10 years ago um, to go to New Zealand, because uh, so my husband and I, uh, we were both uh, studying our master degree in degrees in Paris, um, and we had a kind of comfortable life together. And it was, it was a risk to leave France and to leave Paris to go to New Zealand. But I knew that quite deeply I had to do it. Um, and even if it was difficult and quite uh, risky, uh, I think that what I gained in return was immense. So, and I think I was able to do that because I didn't think about failure, you know, I didn't think about it. Uh, I was, I was scared, of course, and it was uh, a risk, even for my career, but I was young, I was, I was 28, and I thought, you know what, I have nothing to lose, I mean, I didn't have a lot of money, and, and but, but I thought, okay, maybe I can, I can try, and and I wanted to see the world quite deeply and, and I wanted to explore uh, the world basically with my husband. And so I just thought, okay, let's, let's do it, you know? Um, and I think also that sometimes to be successful, you need to fail first um, because you will learn from your uh, failure basically. Um, and the other thing is that I don't think about failure right now because I know that finally in my life I'm in a safe space. Um, you know, I have some savings, for example. Uh, I haven't spent any money on my business yet. Uh, and I don't want to do that before uh, reaching my first uh, client. Um, so I think as a result, I don't have a lot of pressure on my shoulder because I know that, you know, basically I have, I have nothing to lose. Um, and, and if suddenly I need money, I can still work as a consultant. So um, because of that, um, I'm quite uh, positive and, and confident. So through your journey, have you referenced any kind of online websites or other resources, or maybe have had some a personal connection with maybe a family member or friend where you've been able to find support? Yeah, this is a really good question, actually, um, as this is definitely an area uh, where I need to, I need to improve. You know, I know that. I have a tendency to be uh, quite independent uh, and I don't ask for help very often. And I think I should do it more often actually, especially right now because you know, I'm, I'm starting my business and it's, uh, it's tricky because I own my own basically. Um, and, and also because I'm at the beginning of my journey um, so, in terms of resources and support, uh, well, I have attended a training uh, to become uh, certified, to, to become a certified coach and to get the technical skills I need to, to become a good coach, basically. 
And also uh, because I attended this course, it was it was great because I was able to meet uh, a wide range of, of people. And now they, I mean, I consider them as friends, you know, because we are currently training each other to become good coaches. Um, and also uh, my next goal is to uh, contact my professional network. Uh, because, you know, I've, I've been working as a consultant for 12 years now. So because of that, now I have a wide range of, of people I can contact and, and, and reach to uh, introduce and to produce and to promote my, my practice, my coaching practice. Thank you, Helen. Thank you, Kelly. That's very good. That's inspiring so far. Uh, thank you for sharing again. Um, so for the following questions, I'm going to ask you first. So you mentioned about you are trying to um, uh, get to know a lot of people and you have been successfully uh, have connection with them. So I want to know, like, in this process, what kind of do, like, uh, do you have a moment you feel um, oh, there's a kind of limitation of resources or you can't uh, have the access to something. Can you share with us? So ca can you be more specific? Because I'm, I'm not sure I fully understand the, the question. So uh, for example, uh, uh, you want to do a project or you want to uh, get to know a client that may need your, needs your service, but uh, maybe the uh, environment is being so competitive and you are lacking the resources you need to get more clients or more friends that may be connecting to the, uh, the, the, the objects you want. Uh, what can, do you have, have you ever uh, had this kind of challenges? Uh, to be honest, not, not yet. Maybe it will happen. But maybe also because I'm just at the beginning of my journey, as I said. Uh, no, I've, I've not been confronted to that yet. 